Hello Cancer my darlings and welcome back to my channel Luna Moon Tarot. So Cancer, I am here to do a bonus reading for you guys. I want to check in behind the scenes and see how your person is feeling about you, right? Aries through Pisces. This is going to be current energy um, and uh, what they're thinking and feeling about you right now. I'm going to pull two cards off of the tarot and two cards off of the mixed emotions for each sign. But first, I wanted to look into your energy, okay? Um, anyway, Cancer, this reading is for the collective, so it may not be for all of you, all right? Just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. You know, don't try to force it. And thank you so much, everyone, for all of your support, the likes, the subscribes. Thank you, thank you, you guys. I do these bonus readings because I love you. You're, um, you're my main soul tribe out here, Cancer. I love you guys so, so much. Um, all right, so Cancer, I just want to shuffle the decks here real quick, and then we'll, we'll dig into the reading, okay? Give me one more shuffle on this divine. Aries through Pisces for Cancer, please. All right, got the decks ready. Okay, so this is your energy, Cancer, and these two cards came out together, so we're going to read them to all together, right? But um, I feel like you're an inspiration for so many people, okay? Um, it says, first, first name or word out here is inspiration, awe, and dreams. People are in awe of whatever it is that you're doing. Um, I feel this heavy, like... Um, uh, intuition from you right a lot of very tapped in uh, very intuitive uh, a lot of psychic abilities coming off of these two cards here and there's something very um, important about your dreams right now because they're mentioned in both cards from completely different decks you guys okay um, so yeah I feel like cancer you're getting a lot of downloads a lot of upgrades in your sleep right now your sleep schedule could be changing or your work schedule could be changing for sleep. Um, but in your dreams, pay close attention to your dreams because I feel like somebody may even be trying to contact you in a dream state, okay? Um, but yeah, you're, you're being worked on in your sleep. <laughs> you may even feel kind of like still tired and groggy when you wake up. Um, it's uh, your dreams are, are going to be much more vivid these days too. It's, it's because the divine is sending you a lot of new downloads because you're about to start a whole new journey. Okay. So, um, yeah, sleep is really important. Your dreams are really important at this time, cancer, you know, and it's really weird how these are two separate cards from different decks, but the patterns almost match up perfectly. Okay, do you see this? You know, you and your person could be mirroring each other as well. Okay, like they could be seeing you in their dreams. You could be seeing your person in your dreams. You could be talking to each other in dreams. I'm seeing a lot of ancestors, a lot of spirit guides around you right now. You could be seeing a lot of feathers. Um, I, you know what I found just yesterday was this tiny little feather that was white and bright orange. Okay. So you could be seeing things like that, like feathers being left for you everywhere. Um, yeah. And I feel like your ancestors are talking to you too. You've got ancestors out here heavy in this card. Um, so for these, you've got the light of forgiveness. Cancer, I feel like you have found the strength and the ability to forgive the unforgivable without even getting an apology and that's for you right forgiveness is for you it helps us move on it helps us release pains from the past you know anybody who's hurt us right we shouldn't have to live with that pain forever you know we should learn something from it and release it but sometimes forgiving is the hardest thing it's the hardest step in that because you know what, how do you forgive the unforgivable when you never got an apology, right? And that's what you're finding, you're finding the, the strength to do that here. I forgive myself and others. In forgiving, I free myself. I told you, I bounce back from negative emotions and do not linger in dark places. Uh, that's correct. 
uh, my life is a light that chases away shadows. So I feel like you're raising your vibrations. The divine could be helping you do this too. Sleep is so important for you right now, you guys. I can't stress that enough. I And I, I feel it. it's because the divine is um, heightening your abilities at this time, okay? Yeah, but you're forgiving and you're releasing and you're doing all of the forgiveness on your own, Cancer, okay? Um, and then we've got Embrace Divinity. So I feel like you're a light worker, um, a divine feminine, divine masculine energy. I am, I am a loved child of divinity. Reality is a love story written for me. I sit silently and experience the loving embrace from my eternal mother. I store up the words of affirmation of my ageless father. The tender words that spoke my consciousness, consciousness into existence becomes me. Um, here's the thing. This is, this is your ancestors. They're talking to you in your sleep, Cancer, okay? <laughs> they are. I feel like you've got so much communication coming to you in your dreams. I really do. And the, uh, your ancestors are, are behind you. Um, your spiritual team is behind you. I feel like you've got uh, protection from, from the angels, the archangels. I feel like you're being called to forgive so you can move forward. And in the meantime, th the divine is giving you um, a lot of messages, a lot of, a lot of downloads, a lot of... Um, they're helping you feel inspired enough to walk away from things from the past, okay? They may even be showing you visions of what's uh, about to come towards you in the future. So um, it could be abundance. It could be, um, you know, gifts from the universe, right? Blessings. That's to help give you strength to walk away from the past, okay? But yeah, you are definitely um, an earth angel, an inspiration. You're a muse for other people. This is light worker energy stuff. So if you were led to this video, chances are, good chance you're a light worker here. Okay? Definitely inspiring other people. Other people are in awe of what you're doing. I feel like your intuition is so lit. Cancer, you're spot on. Okay? Just just get your sleep. Drink plenty of water, too. That's going to help um, protect you from negative energy. It's going to help that flow of energy so that the, the divine can give you these messages. Um, maybe keep a dream journal next to you, right? Jot down what the divine says to you or what, what you see in your dreams, right? Um, but yeah, this is a, I feel like this is an affirmation here. This is a confirmation of who you are. You are a love child of divinity. Okay? And just know that um, your abilities are being heightened right now. It could make you feel tired, fatigued. You could be noticing you're taking naps like wherever, falling asleep in a chair, you know, that kind of thing. When the divine wants you to sleep, so that they can give you a message, they'll, they'll have you go to sleep, okay? So it, it's all right, Cancer, just get your rest when you feel you need to, all right? Okay, you guys, really strong message out here. I'm dealing with light workers, right? Anyway, let's, let's see what your person is feeling and what they're thinking about you um, currently, right now. Okay, this is current energy. We're going to start with Aries and we're going to finish with Pisces, okay? All right, so if your person is an Aries, oh boy, oh boy, I'm getting the sense that them and everyone around them is under judgment, okay? Um, secrets could also be coming out right now, being exposed and uh, this person is doing a lot of fighting behind the scenes with a whole group of people right now. Um, it's just, it's exposure. You know what I mean? The divine has seen everything. Secrets are coming out. People are getting mad. There's like, this person's in the middle of a lot of chaos and drama right now. Okay. Um, and how they're feeling. Oh, man. They wish they could come and talk to you about this stuff, Cancer. 
um, I feel like they're trying to figure out a way to come towards you. Like there's got to be a reason. Like um, if you needed this person for anything, they would they would show right up at your door. They're just looking for a reason, a way to come towards you. They may even bring you a gift. Um, this person could like be a, a fireman or a police officer, something like that. Uh, but you're out here, you're good on your own. You don't need any help. You don't need this person. They want, they're wishing that you needed them for something, but you don't. You don't. Um, you're out here just collecting your wishes in a bushel basket here, Cancer. Feeling um, very self-actualized. See, all you need is yourself. Okay, you're very independent here. You don't need this person. And, um, yeah, they're, they're trying to find a way because they want to talk to you. They feel like they need you more than you need them, which is true. It's true. And they can't think of a, they can't think of a good way to approach you, okay? Yeah, wow. But they want to. They want to talk to you so bad, so dang bad, Cancer. All right, so that's Aries. If you're dealing with the Taurus, man, these, especially if it's, if it's masculine energy, these people are starting to fall apart over you, Cancer. Um, especially this person. They have just been betrayed. Um, they're, they're feeling very defeated here. Uh, I feel like they could have found out that they've... Um, whoever they chose over you has been cheating on them. I'm seeing a third party here. I'm seeing them uh, in a whole lot of regret for turning their back on you. Okay? They're realizing they made a huge mistake here, but they realized it a bit too late. This person is going through a whole lot of pain um, after um, realizing that they were just cheated on and betrayed. You know? How are they feeling? They see you taking a leap of faith in a new direction, okay? They see you starting something new for yourself, a new journey. Uh, you could even be possibly making some kind of location change here or just really excited and enthusiastic about your life. And this person is in a very dark place. They're afraid. They're afraid that um, you're going to be leaving their life. And you're happy about it. You don't you don't need this person, okay? Not in the energy that you're in. So they're really afraid that they're never going to see you again, that they're going to miss any kind of opportunity with you. And they might. They might miss it, you know? Um, this person, they're, they're, I see them feeling sad and depressed, but not, not making a move towards you yet, okay? <clears throat> I do see you being watched by at least three other people here too so and this masculine they know it okay all right so if you're dealing with a gemini ooh, if you're dealing with the gemini this person knows you're the empress uh, i feel like they want to talk okay yeah they can i feel like somehow this person can see you becoming very abundant very stable living a comfortable life i'm kind of getting the sense that they want to talk to you but they're kind of scared because they haven't showed me their face yet <laughs> okay um so they're kind of hiding right but they want to talk to you cancer um they're in a whole lot of regret right now they're looking at your old photos if you have photos together um they're they're looking through at those they may even be um crying over the over your pictures at night you know something like that they're in a whole lot of regret they're so sorry and i feel like anybody else that they're around is just aggravating the crap out of this person um they're very annoyed by anyone else i'm, I'm getting the sense that they just want to be left alone to cry okay they just want to be left alone to cry. This is somebody kind of going into hermit energy, all right? Isolating. They want, to, they want to isolate themselves. They just want to be alone. And all they're doing is crying about you right now. Wow. 
Okay, so what, what was that? Was that Gemini? So if you're dealing with a Cancer, oh boy, Cancer, ever since this person walked away from you and ghosted you, they've had nothing but loss in their life, okay? This is somebody who um, is losing money. They're losing opportunities. Uh, they're losing their health even. I, I feel like they've got some kind of bad health issue here. They're a mess. Their life has become a mess. I feel like they ghosted you possibly for this other person. If they're still with somebody else, it's a codependent situation. Like neither one of them want to be alone. They don't want to break. They don't know how to break away. There could be some addictions that they share here too, um, which are not healthy at all. Um, yeah. It could be a substance because I'm seeing a whole lot of white here, okay? So, yeah, this person, when they ghosted you, their life has been a mess ever since, and it keeps going downhill, okay? Um, yeah, they're sinking into a depression. This can also be numbing. So I feel like if they're, if they're doing anything to numb, it's that substance, okay? Um, they could be doing some drinking as well, but they're feeling absolutely empty without you. They are inspired by you, though. Okay, you are in it. You're out here as the inspiration. So, yeah, they I feel like whatever messages you're putting out there, this person is picking up on it. They they kind of want to pick their life up and change their life now. But they um, they need to stop numbing. Okay. They need to stop being withdrawn. They need to somehow pull themselves out of spiraling. Their life is spiraling out of control here. So they need to somehow pull themselves out of that. And you're helping this person to do that. Whether you, whether you believe that or not, it's true. They're inspired and you're the inspiration. Okay, it's, it's that simple. They may even be writing you a letter or a song. This person could be very creative, especially with words and lyrics. So they could be a songwriter or writing some kind of poetry or a letter to you right now. Okay. Wow. All right. So if your person is a Leo, this Leo, I feel like they're angry at a group of three feminine energies, okay, who are doing nothing but gossiping about you. Um, they're mad. And I, I'm getting the sense that um, they're getting ready to yell at these people, verbally attack them, okay? They're, they're angry. I, I feel like there's a, they could, these three feminines, they not only are gossiping about you, but I feel like they're, they're planning, they're plotting, they're strategizing. They could have even done some kind of spell work. I'm getting the sense that this, this masculine is angry because whatever they've done, it's affecting their life too. So I'm feeling like um, magic, right? Or spells coming back on these people. And if your person is involved with them, they're getting hit with karma as well. Okay? Wow. Wow. They're mad. They got something to say to these three feminine energies. They could also be mad if you're out here celebrating something in your life. They could be very angry about that. Um, maybe they want to try to send you some spiritual attacks behind the scenes. You know, I feel like they are sending out some bad energy here. All right, how are they feeling? Yeah, somebody's talking about you out here. Some resentful karmic individual is just like, bad-mouthing you right to a community, trying to make you feel embarrassed, um, trying to ruin your reputation. So I feel like, you know, they keep attacking you, and this person's getting really upset, okay? So I feel like they're taking a stand for you, Cancer. I feel like this person's going to start um, defending you and telling these the, whoever is spreading gossip and putting you through this publicly, they're going to tell them to back off. All right. Okay, if you're dealing with a Virgo. 
Huh. If you're dealing with the Virgo, I, what this Virgo is thinking about is how immature they really are, okay? How immaturely they handled the situation with you. Because now, here's the thing, they're realizing they had a chance at a blessing and love here. This is a blessing being given to this person by God. And they toyed with it. They, they treated this like it was a little game. They did whatever they wanted. They ran around in and out energy, played a bunch of games, acted a fool, and thought there would be no consequences. Okay, now I feel like as this person thinks about it, they look back, they may even be doing a lot of crying right now over this. I'm, I'm just sensing like a lot of regret off of that Ace of Cups, okay? Um, because they're realizing, man, they, they played games and were immature to the point where they lost out on real love here, all right? That's what they're realizing. All right, how is this Virgo feeling? Look at them. They're falling apart here. Um, this person is heartbroken. Uh, they're, they're hoping that someday there will be another opportunity here. They're really hopeful that this will, there will be another opportunity. But all look, it's, it's, it's one little seed. And this person is like, man, that was a whole entire cup. Um, I don't know that they're going to get another chance here. They don't think they're going to get another chance here. Okay? And they're literally falling apart. They're curled up in a little ball right in the fetal position somewhere crying over you cancer all right realizing how immature they were they could have had a beautiful love connection it could have been beautiful and this person blew it because they uh they they acted like a game player you know they 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 weren't serious at the time i feel like they want to be serious now yeah, all right, so if you're dealing with a Libra. Okay, if you're dealing with a Libra, I they could have met somebody new. Um, that's the first thing that I'm seeing. Is I'm seeing this Queen of Wands as somebody new here. They may think that this person is a soulmate connection, but I'm, I'm just getting the feeling like this Queen of Wands isn't ready to settle down. Okay, um, that's the feeling I'm getting. You know... The Queen of Wands, she's enthusiastic about things that are coming up for her in the future. She just goes after what she wants, right? Um, so I feel like this is somebody that it could, this could be somebody who's extremely good looking, but she's not going to be serious, okay? And this person, I feel like they're getting fooled here. They think this is a soulmate connection, but this Queen of Wands, she's looking at other things, okay? So I feel like they're about to be had, you know? Yeah, see? And I'm feeling like they both have to kind of watch each other or this person's going to be watching. Either they're, they're watching you and they're fascinated with what you're doing out here, but they're feeling like, I think at any time this person is going to catch this Queen of Wands with someone else. I got to say, that's the feeling I'm getting. At any time, they're going to see this Queen of Wands with someone else, okay? Um, and meanwhile, this person is still, though, fascinated by what you're doing. You're, again, you're a big inspiration from the, for this person. Um, yeah, they can't take their eyes off of you. They're still watching and keeping track of what you're growing, what you're building, um, possibly online here starting something with somebody else but they're about to find out this queen of wands is going to choose they're, they just want to kind of play they're not serious okay so they're about to get their heart broken here all right so that was libra right i think if you're dealing with a scorpio oh boy this scorpio is being sat down to learn a lesson all right, and they are getting some major karma for how they treated you. Uh, yeah, they're being told by the divine, you sit your butt down. You need to learn this stuff. We're going to balance these scales out, and you're gonna, you have to pay your karmic debt here. So this person is suffering a whole lot of karma right now. 
Um, I don't know that they can come towards you right now. Okay, yeah. And this vulnerability here, that's their karma. They're completely defenseless and helpless against it. Okay, and I feel like the divine is pulling the, the rug right out from underneath this person. So they're losing their stability. They're falling down. Um, they're losing things in their life. Their life is just kind of a mess and it's absolutely out of their control. There's nothing they can do about it besides try to get through it the best that they can. Um, and they're feeling very ashamed right now, possibly even humiliated and disgraced. I'm seeing somebody who could be treating this person um, like a child, okay, making them stand in the corner. That could be, oh, they could be getting haunted as well. They could be getting haunted here. I just see this person not wanting to look at that shadow, okay? So, yeah, for, I mean, some, some of these people, their karma is pretty severe. And the spirit, your spirit team has come in to whoop their butt. And they, I, they have been haunting these people. We had that in a reading earlier today. So you may want to check out this morning's reading, okay? But, um, yeah, Cancer, this person's life is in total turmoil, all right? And the divine is making them learn a lesson and they're feeling that shame. Okay. Wow. All right. Is that, was that Scorpio? If you're dealing with the Sagittarius. This person's lies are catching up to them. Okay. Um, they've been doing nothing but lying in and out energy, taking advantage of people. Um, and I'm, I'm really getting the feeling like it's all catching up with this person, okay? Everything's about to change here. I'm getting the sense that this person, they thought they would get away with some things here, but they're not. The universe has witnessed everything, and they're about to be very stuck in their life as you end up on top. All of their lives, or all of their lives, all of their lies um, and the things that they've said about you, Cancer, it's all coming back to snap them in the butt. Um, for real. The universe has seen everything. This person hasn't gotten away with anything, so they're about to get their karma. They're about to feel very stuck in their life, unable to move, no opportunities, no money coming in. I'm telling you, this person's going to pay for what they did to you, Okay. Oh, they're going to pay for what they did. And you're out here winning. <laughs> I feel like the wheel of fortune has turned in your favor, Cancer. And this person, they feel absolutely stuck and powerless. Okay? Um, you're out here victorious. You're, you're accomplishing huge things. You're masterful at what you do. Okay? And you're holding up that trophy for all to see. And this person, number one, they can't do anything about your victory. And number two, they can't do anything in their life. In their life. Why do I want to say lives? Um, yeah, they can't do anything in their life either because, you know what, everything is stopping for this person. For real. No forward movement, no new opportunities, no nothing. And meanwhile, you're out here with a win. Oh, they're getting karma big time here, Cancer. Okay. All right. If you're dealing with a Capricorn. Cancer, this Capricorn has been... Um, I, I feel like they're um, practicing what they're going to say to you. Okay. Um, they're about to talk. See, here they're, they were thinking, praying for another chance, right? Knowing they put you through a lot here. Getting ready to pick up this last sword to communicate, right? And here they have it in their hands. So this person's about to communicate. But this is somebody who thinks very strategically on what they're going to say. So I feel like they've been rehearsing what they're going to say to you, okay? And now they're ready. They're ready. They've got it memorized, right? <laughs> and now they're about to come and talk, okay? 
you're about to get some messages from this person. They may even be trying to telepathically communicate too. If you, they're laying here, and this could be the person that you're picking up in your dreams, right? They're laying here, sleeping, um, possibly trying to communicate with you in your dreams. This is telepathic communication here. This person, um, they admire you. They're respectful of you now. Um, they weren't when they hurt you, okay? But they're feeling that um, compassion for, how, you know, how badly they, that this must have hurt. So they're sorry for what they did. Um, and they're about to face you here, Cancer. You're about to get face-to-face -face communication from this person, okay? Is this Capricorn, right? Or is this Aquarius? I think this is Aquarius. I've lost track. Hold on just a second. Yeah, Cancer, I think this is Capricorn. I couldn't figure it out. Am I on Capricorn or am I on Aquarius? Um, so yeah, Cancer, this person, you know, just know they're about to communicate with you, okay? All right, so we are on Aquarius now. If your person is an Aquarius, there's Aquarius energy. They're watching you, Cancer. I feel like um, they're watching everything that you do. They're pulling on your energy. This is somebody who wants to see you stuck. You know, they know they should come forward and say something, but they don't. They want to see how long they can wait this out. I feel like they're, they're kind of happy watching you feel stuck in your mind, okay? This, I feel, is a person that is very important to forgive on your own. So you can release yourself from this energy, all right? I don't see this person coming towards you right now. I see them making you just continue to be stuck, and they're just watching you be stuck, okay? This is someone it's important to forgive and release, all right, so um, how are they feeling? Yeah, see, they're feeling this is their power, right? This is the only way they have power and control over the situation is to watch you be stuck. And that's the kind of person you need to forgive and move on from because this person just wants to see you suffer. All right, I will tell you that right now. They just want to see you suffer. Okay, by, by watching you stuck in your mind, Cancer, that's how this person feels some kind of power. Otherwise, they're just a page. They're just a page. All right, so, and if you're dealing with a Pisces, we guys, you guys, we finally made it, right? If you're dealing with the Pisces, and there's the Pisces, there they are. Um, this Pisces is seeing everything from a whole new perspe perspective. They're seeing you from a new perspective. This is another person that you've inspired to have an awakening, Cancer, okay? Um, they may feel stuck in something right now, but by gum, Cancer, they're waking up, okay? Um, and I feel like this is changing your person. It's raising their vibrations, and there's a lot of people in their inner circle that don't like this, and they're having to take a stand now. This person, I feel like they're defending you against a lot of other opinions here, this Pisces, okay? Um, yeah, and you've inspired this person to wake up. Oops. I got another card out from the wrong deck, guys, but I will leave it. Sorry, Cancer, your Pisces got three cards, not just two. I'm leaving this full card out here, Cancer, because I think it. I, everything happens for a reason, right? And I feel like I pulled this card out because the Divine wanted you to know. You've, wake, you've woken this person up. Um, they're ascending. Okay, There's, they've, they've gotten the spiritual messages. You've inspired them, right, um, to wake up. And now they want to start a new journey, being all high vibing, right? Now they want to, they want to start their spiritual journey here, Cancer. I feel like that's why the Divine wanted me to pull that Fool card. And people in their inner circle, they don't like it. They don't like this change, and this person's going to end up defending this, taking a stand for themselves, defending you, and leaving them behind. Okay, so that Fool card was pretty important. 
All right, how is this Pisces feeling? Yeah, see, they're leaving people behind here. Um, and they're getting out in the nick of time because wherever they were in this safe zone, there's about to be a tower moment for all of the people that were involved there. You're, you're a, you were able to wake this person up in the nick of time. Now they're leaving, they're moving, they're, um, they're going someplace else. And whoever is still in that um, home situation, all these people that are angry with this person, they're all about to get their karma and your person just escaped it. And that was because of how you've inspired them. You've woken them up, you've opened their eyes. So yeah, that, that fool card was very important for this. So anyway, Cancer, listen, that's what I've got for your bonus reading, you guys. I hope this helps. I hope it resonates. If you like this video, please click that like button. Subscribe to my channel. If you like this vibe, you want to join this awesome soul tribe. And um, until next time, Cancer, take care of you and peace out.